Hey y'all, it's Mandy from Daydream Face Painting. In a previous video, I showed you what the Velcro looked like on my DJ Hero kit and how messy it got with glitter and things. And also, the other thing that I didn't like about it was that it was stationary. The Velcro would not come off, so if you wanted to rearrange your kit, you really couldn't. I removed all of the Velcro from my rainbow cakes by microwaving for 10 seconds. So I decided to repot everything from these smaller black plastic palettes into my new clear plastic palette that you can get from Craft and Go. I was able to repot all of my colors into that and make them look really nice. Um, repotting was not a big deal at all. So here I am inserting the metal trays. These are an optional accessory that you can get for your Craft and Go paint station. They come with double-sided tape and you just press them down. So I got some great advice to use this E6000 industrial strength adhesive to attach my magnets and it works really well. So to attach your magnets, you wanna slide it off and then take the big set of magnets away from your other hand so it doesn't snap back or it could break. So what I did, I just lined up all of my rainbow cakes and I went ahead and put two dots of glue on the rainbow, larger rainbow cakes and one dot of glue on the one strokes. And I used two magnets on the rainbow cakes and just one to hold up the one strokes. So in another previous video, I showed you guys the Dazzle Caddy accessory that you can get. It actually holds the half ounce size glitter bottles and where I found those was at the facepaintforumshop.com's website. They sell the half ounce um, empty glitter poofer bottles and so I'm going to show you how I repotted my glitters in just a second. I used four of the magnets on the back of my Dazzle Caddy to attach it. So I had this little teeny tiny funnel, I think it was actually from a cake decorating kit that I had, and I just used that to transfer all of my glitter over from the one ounce sized poofer bottles into the one half ounce sized bottles. To transport the Dazzle Caddy, they have to actually go in upside down like that, and that's the only way the lid will fit on top. I also used the E6000 glue to attach magnets to the back of my plastic bags to hold my gems and gem adhesive, so you'll see me doing that. I also found a Q-tip, a little travel kit at Walmart, and I also added a magnet to my hand sanitizer and to the bottom of my um, brush basin as well, just so it would stay um, stationary in my kit without jostling around. I also am going to repot all of my star blends into this case, so I also added four magnets to the bottom of it as well. And here I am putting that into my kit. I can't wait to take my craft and go out. I think I pretty much have it all set now, so I'll let you guys know how it goes and give you a final review. So stay tuned for part six, which will be my final review of the craft and go paint station. Thanks for watching.